Hey everybody, it's Joe the 3D Printing Professor and this is Print-A-Block Chess. It's just chess, made with print-a-blocks, though it does have these cool little drawers in it. And this started as a modeling challenge live stream where you can get to pick what I will model in those. And I want to talk about that a little bit before I tell you more about this chess set. I've decided that I want to do more to make cool things for you to 3D print, which means I really need to step up my game in the projects that I'm working on and focus more on finishing those projects. Right now, the project that I'm working on is Print-A-Quest, and that is going to be a vast project that's going to take me a while to finish. And the problem with big projects like that is that you risk burnout, hitting a point where you're just tired of doing it. So the idea that I came up with to keep things fresh is every once in a while I take a break, have a little palate cleanser as it was, and do something that's completely different. Not something that I feel like I need to do because I'm working on this project, but just something different. So I've decided that once a month on a Wednesday morning, because that's when my schedule allows for it right now, I'm going to have a modeling live stream challenge. And if you would like to have your idea submitted, there is a hierarchy of places where I will take those ideas from. At the very top are my Patreon backers. When I announce that I will be doing a live stream and give a date for it, anybody on Patreon who makes a suggestion will get first priority as a pick for what I will work on in that modeling challenge. Below that is my Discord. I'm very active on my Discord, so if you jump on there and you say, hey, it'd be kind of cool to see this, that is where I will pick the next idea from, and that is, in fact, where Printer Block Chess came from. And then below Discord, it's YouTube comments, even comments on this video. The first one of them that I did where I modeled a kangaroo phone holder it was just a suggestion that somebody made in chat at the time, and I said, sure, let's do it. Let's make that happen. Now, of course, I have lots of projects that I've worked on in the past that I should flesh out some more, like uh, chibi malls or low-poly dinos, maybe make some high-poly dinos, who knows? But if you guys want me to work on something else, if you have a particular project, something that you would like to see made, something that you would like to 3D print, well then go ahead and submit it as a suggestion for me and I will try to make it a reality for you. Such was the case with Print-A-Block Chess. So let's get into talking about what you need in order to build this Print-A-Block Chess set. You are going to need two specially sized Print-A-Block drawers that can hold all of the pieces and you're also going to need to have two little drawer poles for opening the drawers with. You are also going to need to have 64 of these Print-A-Block half blocks some of them in one color and some of them in another color. Alternatively, you could just print them all in a dual tone filament that changes color depending on the angle, like this blue-green filament from my friends at Lockatree. There will be a link in the description if you want to check those out. Of course, you're also going to need the pieces printed in two different colors, and you're going to need a lot of print block connectors. Now, this project uses two different types of printer block connectors. First of all, there's the H-type connector. We call that the H-type connector because if you look at it from a certain angle, it looks like an H. And this is just your standard printer block connector. You'll need about 70 of these. This project also uses slip connectors. And slip connectors are a special type of printer block connector that one side snaps in like normal, but the other side doesn't hold on very well at all. And it's just meant for pieces that are going to be popping in and popping out of place. And what we do with these is we take one of these slip connectors each and we put them snap side into the pieces. That way there's a little peg sticking out the bottom of the pieces and that will go into the notches in the print -a block chessboard. Of course, if you wanted to be silly, you could, instead of a slip connector, use a regular connector in the base of these. That way they'd snap in a little bit better and you could use that to make one of those playing chess on an amusement park ride pictures if you wanted to. So I'll just go ahead and put one of these slip connectors in each of them. And when I'm done with that, it's time to build the board. Start by taking the drawer and putting it into the drawer case. There's a little notch that you have to kind of angle the drawer around so it holds into place and then it slides in. 
use two regular H-type connectors on the drawer pull, snap them in and then put the drawer pull on the drawer so that you can use that to open the drawer with your fingers. Next, use a couple of regular H-type connectors, maybe four of them to hold the two drawers back to back next to each other. And now it's time for making the board. Alternate half blocks on the top of the drawers to make the board. Now the thing about half blocks is that their hole does allow you to push the connectors in a little bit too far if you're not careful. But if you ever do that, all you have to do is push them back out. Using the slip connector on one of the pieces is a great way to get those just the right depth. And then just build the chessboard one piece after another. It's a slow and meditative process that I kind of enjoy getting lost in as I do. Now, of course, we're building a regular chessboard, but printed blocks are modular. So theoretically, somebody could take this idea of a modular chessboard and make some rules to take advantage of that modularity. I'm not going to worry about that right now. There are enough chess variations out there right now, but I do think that that could be a fun project for someone. And there you go, a complete chess set made out of printer blocks that even stores away nice for putting up on your shelf and it's ready to play anytime you want. So that's it for this project, but if you have an idea for another project that you'd like to see 3D modeled, then go ahead and submit your ideas and if you want to bop it up, go ahead and submit it in my Discord or jump on my Patreon. But that's it for this video. I want to thank you very much for watching and I want to remind you that you are a child of a loving Heavenly Father who cares about you and so I care about you as well. So take care of yourself and hey, if you can, take care of somebody else too. We all need each other. I'll see you next time.